Hey everyone and welcome back to Retaking the Nation and today I'm going to be doing some of my predictions for the elections coming up tomorrow on Tuesday for 2023. Not a major election day but we do have some stuff going on and I thought I would do a bit of a broadcast here just give a little information on what's going to be going down tomorrow and before that you should hit the subscribe button like the video of course so you can get daily news updates and live streams covering religion geopolitics politics and all sorts of topics like that you're not going to miss out on it so hit the like and subscribe button and the bell as well anyways let's get into what i think is going down on some of these elections tomorrow now we have one to fill in already the louisiana governor's race that is over this is not an electoral count by the way i'm just using a map to indicate my predictions landry has won he won we didn't need a runoff so louisiana has flipped from Democrat to Republican. Republicans are looking, are, are eyeing at Kentucky, of course, to flip that seat. We're going to get into what I think that one will end up being. And we have a ballot initiative in Ohio, a Supreme Court race in Pennsylvania, and then some state legislative races in Virginia and New Jersey. So let's go to some of these lesser races here. In New Jersey, I believe that some of the seats will flip Democrat. I believe, sadly, Ed Durr will probably lose to his challenger it was a very funny meme back in 2021 we love ed Durr, but um looks like that they're going to go down there in virginia let's talk about we have a state senate and state state house elections now for the republicans they just need to tie the democrats to actually get an advantage because winsome sears is the uh lieutenant governor and she breaks all ties i'm really torn on this one Republicans have actually performed well even in 2022 in Virginia, and early voting data looks good for them, cautiously optimistic. Um, I'm thinking maybe, though, and this is how I'm going to indicate it, that it's going to be a tie, but go to Republicans. Uh, they could end up winning by one seat. They could end up losing by one seat. It really will be quite close, but I do think it'll be a tie, giving the Republicans an edge in the state Senate in this case. For the Pennsylvania Supreme Court race, that's looking very democrat at this point or the liberal justice looks like he's going to win there and similarly in ohio i believe that the ballot initiative will pass in favor of the democrats in ohio probably by five to eight points so let's let's actually put that in the likely column i don't want this to happen but it just looks like that's going to be the case get out and vote of course if you're in any of these states for your proper candidates now for kentucky and mississippi these are what we're going to focus on here for mississippi it looks like Tate Reeves has regained some popularity. Brandon Presley is running this sort of faux moderate campaign. You can see him not even using, you know, Democrat uh, logos or anything like that. So he's doing his best to try and hide the fact that he is affiliated, affiliated with the Democrat Party. And he's only led in one poll, and that poll is quite old. You're looking at a 10-month-old poll. Tate Reeves has led in every other poll, even in, you know, Dem internals. I just don't see Brandon Presley pulling this one out. I think Tate Reeves will win albeit by a closer margin than it should be. I think five-point win for Tate Reeves is probably what's going to happen, like a 52-47 sort of win. I think is quite likely. He could win by more, but I don't think Presley is really going to win this race. So this kind of brings us to the the most dramatic race of the night, which is the Kentucky governor one. Look, looked out of reach for Republicans there for a while, but it seems that Cameron is having a bit of a surge. And if you look at a pollster like Emerson, he's gained a lot of support while Bashir seems to be hovering around that 48-49 mark, which is basically what he got in 2019. Remember, he barely won that race. So I don't think a Bashir win by like three to four points is really even likely. I do think that it's going to be down to the wire no matter what. And if we look at the two recent polls, Emerson has him up one, and then the data for progress, which is a Dem internal, has Bashir up two. I would be sweating a little bit if I was the Bashir campaign. That shows that maybe Republicans are coming home. Does that mean Cameron has enough momentum I, I don't know i think trump maybe needed to do some rallies for him obviously trump is busy at this point um but he did re sort of reinstate or reiterate his endorsement for cameron which i think does help um either way this is going to be a very close race my gut is telling me bashir but by like a point i don't i hope this doesn't happen if you're in kentucky if you're a republican get out vote vote early and get your ballot cast for Daniel Cameron, bring three friends with you, because Kentucky is just a heavily conservative state. Republicans just need to turn out their base in order to win this thing. And so it appears the polls are showing a tight race. I do believe it to be a tight race. I mean, if you're talking about a swing of 17 points towards Cameron, whether the poll is accurate or not, this shows that there is some momentum behind him. And as the likely voter sample has increased, it shows that Cameron um you know could be surging i think it's going to be very close i think it's going to be called later in the night sort of like what we got 
in 2019, but I do think there's a bit of an advantage here. So a bit of a mixed night tomorrow is what I see coming. I think Republicans will hold some governorships, maybe flip some state legislature houses, but then there will be some defeats in the Rust Belt, um, unfortunately, in Pennsylvania and Ohio, Kentucky being the, the closest of states. Let me know what do you think is going to happen, particularly with the Kentucky race. I'm interested to hear people's opinions. Also with the Virginia state race, uh, Senate race, that seems to be a close one as well. Let me know in the comments section what do you think is going to happen there. I won't be streaming or anything like that, but I'll be doing a little bit of a, a wrap up, a post mortem, hopefully, about the results of those races there. So, uh, you know, I'll be tween, uh, tweeting about it tomorrow as well, so you can uh, see what I'm having to say there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment there about the Kentucky Senate or uh, Governor's race, and I'll see you guys next time.